Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about five reasons why I think the Nikon Z6 is the best hybrid camera. Okay, so before I jump into my five points, um, here are a few sentences about the Z6. So the Z6 is one of two of Nikon's most recent mirrorless cameras. It's, it's a good all-round camera. The image quality is great. The focusing is great. Focus tracking is great. And to me, those are like really important stuff. Nikon doesn't make video cameras. So Nikon is not scared of cannibalizing on any other existing video camera. So they went all out and put good spec, good, good video specs into this camera. 4K, 120p, slow-mo, you know, all, all the good stuff it's is there and with every update they keep improving upon the performance of the camera so that's a good reason to, to to stick with it now just to be clear this is my opinion okay this opinion is based upon 10 weddings I've shot this year hybrid meaning shooting photo and video I usually have an assistant so and but I end up shooting both if I have an assistant for video, I still end up shooting photo and video. But if I have a video assistant, I shoot more heavily on the photography side and, and vice versa. If I have a photography guy, I shoot more video. So um, I have shot quite a few other, I call it single weddings, which is just photography or just video. Yeah, the first time my wife used the Z6, we had to get a second one because uh she really liked it she was like whoa it's it's almost like you're cheating and well because you can see what you get is uh, with the evf exactly what you see is the final image so there's no point in chimping trying to see what you shot no it's just what you see is what you get and and that is just a game changer at weddings so on the photography side the low light capability is amazing uh the the z6 is it's pretty it's up there it's up there so when i when i do photo shoots i just i don't like posing people as much i like to get my you know models or couples to just walk or do an activity and i just click click click, click, click. now i i shoot with the 750 i still love it i still carry it with me everywhere um the d750 is great but when i'm having someone walk at a fast pace and i'm shooting as fast as i can and uh, you know i i miss i miss maybe four out of ten shots uh i'm not able to nail the focus but with the z6 with the with the iaf and and all that good stuff you just hold down the button and it tracks the face all the way and it's amazing like i'm able to get so many keepers from every shot so I, i'm learning to shoot less these days so i don't have too much data to uh, store all right so here are five reasons why i think the nikon z6 is the best hybrid camera out there right now one multiple user settings u1 u2 u3 now this is the to me this is the best feature on this camera and um, the ease with which you are able to switch between user modes is what makes it stand out so on the dial here, you have U1, U2, U3, and for each user setting, you can store photography settings and video settings separately. Listen carefully. You can store photography settings and video settings separately on U1. Same thing for U2, same thing for U3. So you can actually store six different settings. So for example, on a wedding day, for my video settings on my U1, I have my frame rate set to 24p. For my U2, I have my frame rates set to 60p. For my U3, I have my frame rate set to 120p. And, and I know that off the top of my head, U1, U2, U3. So if I'm not filming a speech or something and I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get super slow-mo, I just go straight to U3 because I know U3, the video is set to 120p and then my shutter speed will be 1 over 250. And that is all already set. What that means is that it's just, you are able to switch back and forth in a very short amount of time. And, and that's what makes it a great hybrid camera. Because 
uh, and with photography okay here's a quick example with photography for you one with photography let's say you are at the reception Recep uh, reception is starting quite early but it's, it's a little dark inside but it's bright outside it's a nice garden outside and the the groomsmen the bridal party is coming from the garden into the reception hall and you are like right around the gate so you can get them as they come in and as they walk in the door you can still keep snapping the settings that you need for the outside shots will be very different from the settings that you need for the inside shot so the the best thing to do in this in this case is to is to you should just have a different setting for u1 and then u2 so for example on u1 you could set it such that the outside shot is one over four thousand because it's bright outside yeah i should not like f 2.5 you know iso 200 okay then for you two you set the photography settings to one over 320 you know f 2.5 um iso 800 because you are now inside okay so for for you two you, you set it to about maybe 1 over 200, you know, ISO 1000, uh, F2.5, F because you're now inside, you know, it's darker, you need more light and all that. So all you need to do in this scenario is, so let's say you're standing at the gate and people are coming from outside. You switch quickly to, to you one, click, 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 and then you turn back inside, you just, all you have to do is switch here, Bam, U2, click, 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 inside the hole. Bam, outside, U1, click, 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 click. You're not changing shutter speed, ISO, aperture, checking. You're not checking anything. Everything, even the color balance, everything is set. Number two. All right, so this is not, this may not be a big deal, but um, there is no delay when you switch from photo to video. Let's say you are in video and you switch to photo, it's just switch, keep snapping. There's no pause, there's no delay. It's pretty much switch and keep going. Now I have used some other cameras and there's a slight delay. It, it, it's not that much of a delay, but it could mean missing the kiss or being able to get the kiss. So three, my third reason is ergonomics. So um, with the Z6, the grip is amazing i'm a photographer okay so and what happens is that uh, when you are shooting hybrid you sometimes have to switch from the gimbal to handheld to this to that you cannot keep a strap on there if you are using a, a gimbal the strap throws the balance off with two fingers you can hold the z6 twist it around this is a very heavy lens that's on here this is a 135 and I can I can control this very easily without without any strap. The button placement on the Z6 is huge. All the important buttons that you're gonna need are placed in such a way that when you're holding it in one hand, you can reach it all with this hand. They have the two important, very important uh, function buttons in here, and every single button is on the right side, and there's nothing here, so you don't need a second hand. So if you use this long enough, you can pretty much close your eyes and, and change every setting. So I think that is important for a hybrid shooter because video is strict. Video is like, you, ha you have to shoot at this shutter speed. You know, you cannot decide, I'm just going to increase the shutter speed because it's too bright. No, find an ND filter, find, increase your f-stop, do something else. So with all these rules, you have to be making changes as you go along. So I think the ergonomics is, is key. All right, too much talking. Number th three. No, 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 no. Number four. <laughs> four. Four is portability. So the Z6 is very compact. So the Z6 is very, very portable. Without the adapter, this thing is very tiny. It fits into your hand. It doesn't even look like a professional camera. You can carry it anywhere and nobody will disturb you. So that portability makes it such that when I walk into a room and let's say the bridal party is getting ready, it's just something small. Sometimes I'm just hand holding 
something small and it doesn't intimidate anyone and they, they are relaxed and it makes the work a lot easier. Number five. So this one, I mean, some people might think it doesn't make sense, but to me, it's, it's huge. If you are into same day slideshows at the reception, this is great because you can film and while it's filming, all you have to do is to tap the shutter. So keep tapping and you can keep taking pictures. And what it does is it takes JPEGs. And I've tried this and it works best when you are shooting at uh, uh, 60 frames or, or higher. Because at 60 frames, your shutter speed will be at, you know, 125. So it's fast enough that there will not be too much of a blur. You know, 120 frames is better because your shutter speed is at 250. And, but you don't want to film your whole wedding at 120 frames. So there is that. I'm, I'm going to keep keep I'm going to keep using these guys in 2020 um, I, I always have my DSLRs on me as well and uh, I don't the way I, I try to make up for the one card is that I have two two Z6s on me and I'm shooting and shooting so nothing has happened yet but if anything should happen you know at least you'd have you'd have half of your pictures Thank you for watching. I'm going to keep using this camera for weddings and I'm going to keep updating um, stuff as I go along because there's a lot more to learn about this camera. Thank you, bye. Subscribe, peace.